Well, welcome back, folks. Sheepdog Smokey here, and uh, <clears throat> it's been a couple of days, but thankfully uh, my back has loosened up, and my doctor has taken good care of me, as always. So we're back to, I hope, normal. Before jumping in, make sure you go on and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you're the first to know of all new content as it posts. With that said, let's jump in. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signs bill legalizing ab abortions up to birth. Now, first, I would have, I would have given this a different headline because after reading the article, it's far worse than this. You see, as everything and anything about abortion is either praised as the most perfect thing ever or vilified as written by Satan himself. What we don't hear about these bills is very worrying. The bill itself uh, originally prompted a response from uh, pro-life Illinoisans that led to a protest that caused the state legislature to have to close due to overcrowding. Then just over Memorial Day weekend, as we're remembering those who fell serving our country, Illinois lawmakers rammed the bill through, sent it to Governor Pritzker's desk, and he has signed it. Now, looking at this, it is going to be a bill that legalizes abortion for any reason up to the moment of birth, forcing every state insurance plan to cover them, and it removes exceptions for religious or moral objections. Quite literally, this means that no doctor can say no anymore. The pro-choice crowd is only pro-choice when it's their choice. I've spoken to several medical doctors. All of them unequivocally say they will not perform an abortion unless there is no way to save the baby, but aborting the baby can save the mother's life. They also said, when I asked, that they have never seen that situation and cannot imagine one. You see, the Hippocratic Oath begins and ends surrounding a very simple, uh, well, let me phrase it, the Hippocratic Oath is very simply a statement that the doctor will do no harm. But you see, this is a bit more worrying because not only does it remove all the possible ways to object, but this says that any form of abortion is legal up to the moment of birth, no one can refuse to perform it, no one can refuse to cover it, and it legalizes non-medical professionals performing abortions. Very recently there was a story about a New York abortion clinic that has sent multiple women to the hospital with complications from their abortion. You see, these are not medical doctors performing a very invasive medical procedure. These are people who may or may not have even been trained in any way to do this, where they're literally reaching into the woman's womb and ripping the child apart, or at the very least, suctioning the child out forcibly, killing it in the process, and without any training, they're doing damage to the mother as well. <clears throat> I don't quite understand the news coverage on this. If we look at the final paragraph here, it shows that three out of four Americans say abortion should be limited to at most the first three months. This is 92% of Republicans, 78% of Independents, 60% of Democrats, and 61% of those who identify as pro-choice. And it's because of this coverage that we have idiots like Alyssa Milano protesting, demanding the state of Georgia be boycotted because they don't allow the murder of the unborn. I doubt any of them have seen the lectures given by, by medical professionals and abortionists who have left the trade and who have vividly and very graphically described the process of abortion shown the tools used, and left people just shocked to their core at what the actual process is. The only ray of light anywhere in this article is that an Illinois bishop has instructed priests 
to deny communion to all lawmakers who have voted for to support this unless they repent and ask forgiveness. Now, on the one hand, many of them will probably decide, well, I don't need communion. And I'm not Catholic, so I'm not going to speak on that. But when you have people who can, without even blinking, vote for a bill that allows this crap to happen, how many of them are going to say, oh, sure, absolutely, I'm sorry, I repent, forgive me. And they'll go right back, right back to doing it. There are going to be some who are going to speak out, screaming and demanding their religious freedom, while they ignore the fact that this bill strips religious freedom from medical professionals, from insurance companies, from employers. And I can at least say that I see this bill being challenged on a First Amendment basis, because ironically, this one is actually Congress, the Congress of the state of Illinois, passing a law prohibiting the free exercise of religion. Unlike a teacher attending a prayer meeting after school that's completely voluntary so that students are not left alone, this is actually a law being passed that strips your religious freedom away from you. <clears throat> and Democrats and liberals all over the country have no problem with this because, very simply, they see religion as the enemy. In their quest to raise your taxes as high as possible to give free stuff to everyone and anyone who supports them and obeys them, and to control the entire world through ensuring Abortion is the preferred response to pregnancy as opposed to giving birth to a child. They can't exist alongside people who say killing a child is wrong. And so they ignore that their bill actually does violate the First Amendment while they support people suing because somebody placed a cross along the side of a road as a memorial to someone who died in a car accident, and they sued the city to go remove it. I would say uh, the ignorance is dumbfounding, but it's not. You see, I have been a teacher. I have taught social studies. I have substitute taught other subjects. And while this was almost a decade ago, even that long ago, the restrictions on what you could say and keep your job, the lesson plans that were mandated were already so vastly different from what I was taught in high school and college as to be unrecognizable. You see, anything that the left supports is a right. Anything they don't is a privilege that can and will be taken away at any point. So in this case... Abortion is now considered a right in Illinois, up to and including the moment of birth, performed by anyone and everyone that wants to perform it, funded by every insurance plan without allowing them to opt out for religious or moral reasons. But the right to keep and bear arms? Nah. The right to religious freedom? Nah. The right, the right to free speech. Nah. And this is the beginning of a very dangerous path. You see, for those of you who have read 1984, Animal Farm, Brave New World, Fahrenheit 451, or any of the other cautionary tales about the future that are all seeming to come true now, you'll know that totalitarian tyrant regimes, they don't subjugate the people overnight. They have to work very slowly until all of a sudden you wake up and you have nowhere to go but to fall in line. If I have to make a prediction on this, I'm going to predict Illinois will start losing doctors right and left. They're going to retire or they're going to move out of state. And much like a prediction I made about New York with their taxes, where now... 
it's almost come true, when you decide to move out of state permanently, or when you live out of state more than six months out of the year, you are audited to ensure they get every dime they can squeeze out of you. If I'm proven right and medical professionals begin retiring in mass or leaving the state or both, I will not be surprised to see a future liberal governor of Illinois sign a bill stating that medical professionals may not retire unless approved by the state, and they may not leave the state unless approved by the state due to a public health crisis and a need for medical professionals. It's very worrying. Because for the last several years, we've seen a ramp up in liberals basically getting bold and very open in forcing their will on others and forcing others to give up what they want. This is just another step. As I said, I see this one being challenged. I see it going at least through two or three federal judges, if not all the way to Supreme Court, primarily on the religious freedom grounds, where doctors are told, I don't care if you're Catholic, you're going to kill that baby. Where insurance companies go are told, I don't care if you are run by a church, you're going to cover abortion. Businesses are told, I don't care that you're a religious organization, you will do this. I see women being hurt right and left because... They'll decide, well, that hospital is run by the Catholic Church. I don't want to get dirty looks as they're forced to do what I want. So I'll go down to this little clinic on Dearborn in the middle of the night, and I'll let Joe Bob do it. And we're going to see bad things happening. I just hope it doesn't last long. But I guess we'll see. I don't know. I've talked long enough. Let me know what you think. As always, remember to be civil. We don't want to devolve into just arguments and mudslinging. We want to hold a conversation, to have a debate. Make sure also to like and share the video so we can expand that conversation. And again, please do subscribe and turn on notifications so that you are among the first to know of all new content as it posts. Until next time, everyone have a wonderful day.